your super bikes get underway. And it looks like Freaky is going to take the lead as they go into turn number one. Vareki starts uh, moving away here at the end of the first lap, and it looks like Roloff holding down second spot. And Jeff Stern running in third spot. So we got Suzu uh, we got a Yamaha, Kawasaki, Suzuki in that order, and we've got another battle of the manufacturers here in the California uh, Superbike Series race, the Kirker-sponsored event, as they head up the hill. And it looks like those three are going to determine who wins this race, and right now it's Vareki. I mean, once this guy starts winning, and once he gets on a streak, Boy, he is uh, awfully tough to topple. He wants to stay out there and win every time Winning out. straight. So remember, uh, Vreeke is on that FZ750. Roloff is, uh, I don't know, is he on that Terminator? Is he on that big bike? But that new format, Roloff now has entered the Superbike race, and... Uh, I believe he's on his big Terminator, and look at the, the Yamaha of, of Ricky holding him off. Jeff Stern on the big Suzuki holding down third spot. And that's Kenny Kopecky, uh, the other rider from San Diego, California, holding down fourth. There goes Ricky, there goes Roloff, there goes Yamaha, there goes Kawasaki. And there goes Jeff Stern on the Suzuki in third, and Kenny Kopecky. On the, uh, I don't see what his bike is, but he's in fourth. Then comes Walter Nito, coming back after a long layoff in fifth. And in sixth spot, 634, and that is John Geyer on the Suzuki. John Geyer won uh, the AWRA races up here uh, three weeks ago, and now he is running in sixth spot. Suzuki sponsored event. We need you up to the line, please. The uh, open stock production, the next Suzuki uh, $1,000 prize money event. We need you up to the uh, up to the uh, pre grid. 131 for Jim Vareki. He pulls out a little bit of a lead and starts uh, lead, just lifting off a little bit. 131, about 98.8 miles an hour for your leader as he comes down the front straightaway, but he can't let off too much. Roll off's right there in that attacking position. Oh, Yamaha Kawasaki. That Yamaha sounded awfully good. Jeff Stern running in third still, and a very lonely third, and Kenny Kopecki in a very lonelier fourth position.
halfway now, and Vericky already with about a no amount, a half a second lead. He just turned in a 130.3. Well, that's almost one of the fastest times out here today, a 130.3. He's just one tick off the 100-mile-an-hour average mark, and he's got to go that fast. Now, in races uh, earlier this year, he could back off, but not now. He's got roll-off on his tail, and he's got to keep the pressure on. starting to stretch it out a little bit. Boy, he's had an easier time with the roll-off in the uh, Superbike series than he has uh, in, in Formula One, as these guys are literally glued together in the Formula USA series. But uh, in the uh, Superbike series, uh, Ricky making it known to everybody that he owns this race, and he's proving it right here. He's backed off a little bit now. He's dropped his times down. To 131.2 if that's dropping times down. Kenny Kopecky starting to make a move now for that third position over Jeff Stern. Stern on that big Suzuki running in third spot. And Kenny Kopecky running there in fourth, trying to uh, catch up to third position. And Jeff Stern, let's see if he can make that move. Up here to the tower, please. The winner of this race up to the tower. Uh, the cable people have gone home and we're running a little late. So uh, next month, hopefully, we'll get uh, it's going to be Vriki up here to the tower. Jim Vricky, and he's on his way to winning, I can't tell, this is five or six in a row, I think, and he set a record uh, uh, a couple of years back with about, I think, seven in a row he had one time, and I think he's just about ready to do, uh, equal that. He's got he's going after a sixth straight win here. Uh, and here comes the race of the day, however, coming down here in the uh, Kirker race, anyway. It's uh, Jeff Stern and Kenny Kopecky, and right now, Kopecky knows it's the last lap. And then they go around turn number one.
checkered flag, and Jim Vericki takes another win. I'm going to ask him when he gets up here how many wins this is in a row, and I also want to ask him about the turn one conditions, but uh, he takes the win, and a big win at that. He dominates again. Look at this. Roloff coming by uh, with a very easy second place. And let's see what happens. Is Stern going to hold on to third, or is Kopecky going to get him? And it looks like Stern's going to stay in third position. Kopecky uh, finishes fourth, and that just about takes care of the field, doesn't it? It's Kirker. Uh, There's money going in this 